Las Vegas. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Leading them out is their 6-2 quarterback who was a fourth-round pick back in 2012, Kirk Cousins. And one nice thing you can always say about Kirk Cousins is that he's consistent, always puts up nice numbers each and every year. If there is a downside to his game, it's been the lack of playoff success. All in all, though, a formidable starting quarterback at a time in the league where it's tough to find your franchise guy. First play and a first pass for Cousins. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. A run for the first time with B. John Robinson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Throwing Cousins. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college, trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. And, then... and down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Malcolm Koontz, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. DeAndre Carter back deep. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by Gardner Minshew, six-round selection in 2019 out of Washington State. And how about this young man? Took the NFL world by storm as a six-round rookie, signature mullet, mustache, but 21 touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great personality, and everyone gravitates towards this guy. Teammates love to win with a quarterback who leads them like that, and fans love to root for a guy who seems just like them. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs, and he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's a second and four. The 
They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. That's caught. It's DeAndre Carter. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Minshew, first and ten. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now a second and ten. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big pickup of 38. I don't think we'll ever get enough of watching one-handed catches, and when they pay off, they are spectacular. But how about the times they don't pay off and coaches go, two hands, two hands still works. <laughs> I know, but they, they go for them so often now that I'm almost starting to take them for granted. Yeah, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Because these are sensational type plays. Especially that one with a defender right there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Renfro, the motion man. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. Minshew sets to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. Touchdown, Raiders! Josh Jacobs from 10 yards out. And the Raiders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. A drive that time of six plays. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone. They start on the ground with Robinson here. 
And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. Short completion, just four yards. Third and seven now. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Cousins. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. And it looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. And shedding through the tackle. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They've got the 7 0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Throwing on first down is Minshew. Incomplete. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw it. Minshew. The open man here, Renfro. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Now Minshew. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. 
Second quarter now, Falcon football. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on it. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Third and three. Now Cousins. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Cousins. Looking there for Pitts, but intercepted. He may go. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Now the offense, they had really not been able to mount anything yet on that drive, and the defense made sure they couldn't mount anything. The interception and the return adding six to the scoreboard. And that's no small return for a linebacker partner. He took matters into his own hands and his legs on that pick. And once he had it, I don't think anyone on the field could have stopped him. Carlson on for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Well, someone is certainly having a big game, and while that sack doesn't quite have the splash of his pick six from earlier, you know he's thrilled to be making big plays during a great individual effort today. to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Robinson, he'll try the left side. But despite a little sizzle on the move, he's still tackled shy of the 20. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up.
The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 16. From the gun, here's Cousins. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll give it to Patterson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down at six now from the 42. To throw, Cousins. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. Throwing his cousins. He's got this into the hands of Hollins. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Cousins now. Got London on a slant. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. First down, here's Cousins. Complete, Jefferson the target. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. From the 22 now, here's the second and eight. Cousins again. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Got this complete to the tight end pits. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to make it fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down. But that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. 
They'll run for it with Robinson. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Here's second and ten. Here's Cousins. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Raiders are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they've picked him off already in this opening half. Now Minshew on first and 10. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. the 34 now. Here's first and 10. Here's Minshew. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't. But he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Second and 10. They'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Myers. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Again, he'll drop to throw. That one caught by Carter. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. It'll be Minshew again. Flushed out right. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13. Down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. gun is Minshew that's caught left side Myers with it 
And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. It'll go as a loss of a yard on what should be the final play of the first half. So we have reached halftime here in Vegas with the Raiders on top. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for the well-traveled quarterback, Gardner Minshew. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Two-touchdown game, 14-0 the score as we get rolling again here in this second half. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Minshew's throw into the hands of Hooper. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Powers by at the 40, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. to back good plays have them on the move on first down off play action it's Minshew he lets it go deep for Mayer oh and that is incomplete well they had that one sniffed out defensively that's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Dancing to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 23 yards on the tuck and run. At this point, this offense feels like they could just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end. Now when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
11 more on that one and another first down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Here's a second and five. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Third and four, he did just enough. And I mean just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described. And he was able to do just that. Here's Jacobs. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Second and goal from inside the five. They're going to look to throw. Touchdown! Michael Mayer from four yards out. And the Raiders take the opening kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Carlson now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was finished off by a Michael Mayer touchdown grab. the touchdown ready to kick it away is Carlson got a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line here comes the Falcons offense it's their first possession of the second half now now they've sort of lost their way partner how do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. A 
A first down throw for Cousins. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. Second and 11 now. On the toss, here's Robinson. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Cousins to throw it. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Max Crosby, the one who got in there for the stop. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Cousins. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops from one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. The Falcons on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and ten. Now Cousins. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 40. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league... A loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Cousins on first down. Yeah. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Thank <laughs> you. 
They'll throw again. Cousins. Another completion right back to Patterson. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing Cousins. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown, Falcons. Van Jefferson. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Now the try here for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21-7. to A 10-play drive that time. And it was all capped off by the Van Jefferson touchdown reception. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. the ground is Jacobs to start the drive and they nearly get this all the way to midfield mark him down at the 49 63 yards now on the ground on just seven carries well it is our business to analyze what we saw out there and on that play I saw a defense staying in base not taking a chance not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back that's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback, but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. He'll look to throw. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third and four. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 
That's good for 21 yards and a first down. That carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Try to run for it with Jacobs. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Minshew sets to throw. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And finding room to work. He's down to the two-yard line. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. Jacobs trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll set up to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Jacoby Myers from a yard out. And the Raiders have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21.
the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Cousins now to throw on first down. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Cousins. And the Raiders have got it. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack, just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And this one is incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Here's Bradley Pinion now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. Minshew down to a knee, victory formation, and that should be just about it. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward.